Well, hello everyone. Uh, this is Mark again. Um, I wanted to thank you for your comments about my last video regarding how to put on your socks if you're, for example, alone traveling. And uh, for some of us, it's very difficult to reach the foot, and as I explained in the video, which you can watch if you like. I have another suggestion about socks. Um, these are compression socks, and I was it was suggested to me that I use these when traveling, especially since sometimes the trips can be uh, 30 hours in, in total transit time. And, um, and on the airplane, uh, the, my feet and uh, lower legs tend to swell, which is quite common. So I put the compression socks on, and I tried this in the last trip, and uh, after I was uh, finished traveling, I took them off, and um, no swelling at all. Uh, it was uh, a much, much better uh, experience. So. Um, again, it's going to be a little bit harder to put on, so i will warn you about that. You might want to try to see if you can get somebody to help you. They're kind of hard to put over the sock pull device because they're very, very tight. Uh, so, but I think you can do it. Um, anyway, um, good luck with that. And uh, now, I wanted to also say something regarding um, sanitation. I, I travel to lower cost guest houses, uh, and uh, they could be $15 a night, for example, like in Phnom Penh, this one that I like to stay at. And uh, I noticed when I would travel that sometimes there would be uh, a, a problem with my nose but becoming clogged up and I couldn't sleep at night. And uh, then I, I started thinking, well, maybe it's the air. And then I looked at the air conditioner, which is a split type unit that has the compressor outside, usually outside the window mounted. And then there's the, the blower part inside, which also contains filters. And these are designed, I think, to protect the, primarily the air conditioner to keep it from getting clogged up with dust in the, in the um, uh, inside. Uh, but uh, you see that uh, that, that dust has uh, probably been there for months, and it could contain dust mites. It probably most certainly contains bacteria, mold, a number of other things that grow uh, in this kind of medium. So they're easy to take out. You just uh, push them up and they, they pop out. And I take them to the sink and I just really spray them with the hottest water that I can. And frequently the sink fills with the water that's completely black. And I'm feeling very happy that I, that I, I took that out and, and, and I don't have to, to, to breathe that. Um, so um, I suggest this for those of you who uh, do travel. Um, you could also ask the, the hotel staff to do that for you and give them a little tip or something. I'm sure they'd be happy to do it. But I usually climb up on a chair and it's usually not too difficult to, to reach these and, and I scour them and from a, the duration of my stay I've at least got cleaner air. Okay, so that, that's one point. Um, now, um, frequently I arrive Sometimes in the middle of the night, one o'clock in the morning, uh, no restaurants open, nothing to eat, and I'm quite hungry, particularly uh, since I don't enjoy eating air airline food and sometimes skip meals. So I, I discovered that uh, bringing along um, these instant noodles that come in a self-contained you know, contained sort of uh, 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 bowl here, if you want to call it that, or, and um, you just pour hot water, boiling hot water, let cover it, let it sit three minutes. It's got a little fork inside, spoon, so you can just have yourself a quick meal. Either, even sometimes on the airplane they have a hot water, I just ask them to fill it up. Get to the guest house though, nothing to eat, and uh, this is the ticket right here. This uh, it's, it's really uh, it's very expensive also. I think this cost me about 50 cents or something. Uh, so that's another suggestion. Uh, I frequently also bring along lots of condiments like mayonnaise, ketchup, um, mustard, salt, pepper, things like that, little packets that you get in a fast food joint. And then I can, for example, go buy a can of tuna, uh, a nice fresh baguette, uh, put my mayonnaise in there, a little salt, and I've got myself a, a, a nice tuna sandwich. Uh, so this is some other suggestions uh, for low cost kind of ways to, to eat. Uh, now, um, some other things that I suggest you bring along on the trip are earplugs. Uh, particularly, uh, well, could be for the air, the, the flight itself, if there's a noisy child or a person uh, snoring or something like that. And uh, also um, for the guest house, because frequently these lower cost kind of guest houses uh, may be built very close to residential 
uh, places, and uh, there can be uh, a lot of noise, uh, music, loud music, uh, babies crying, things like that. So uh, that's been very helpful to me. I'm a sensitive sleeper. Now, I mentioned an inexpensive guest house, but here's the kind of services you get for that $15, in addition to the room and a nice place to sleep, hot shower, hot water, and so on. Um, you get Wi-Fi. It's usually been very reliable for me. Uh, this split-level air con that I was talking about. The laundry is done every day. You put the basket out by noon and it comes back uh, late in the afternoon, cleaned and ironed. Uh, refrigerator inside. Uh, and um, if that's not enough, good cable television. Um, I've got all of my favorite uh, channels there. Um, so, uh, the um, also good to travel, I think, is to bring a, a change of underwear, shirt, and so on. The last trip I took it was a horror story. I stopped in three different airports in China, had to sleep on a cement floor in Kunming, and um, it was nice. They gave out blankets for everyone. They sort of put them uh, on the floor and slept on them. And uh, so um, <clears throat> I found that um, having a change of, of clothing was was uh, very refreshing because um, after this 30-some hour trip, uh, you can imagine that the, my um, shirt and um, clothing were, were pretty sweaty and uh, very uncomfortable. So um, another thing that I suggest uh, you consider is if you have some services that, uh, for example, you need a haircut or uh, you need uh, dental work done, things like this, uh, they can be done very cheaply in places uh, like Phnom Penh or in Thailand and Bangkok places. Um, you can get your hair cut usually two dollars and a very nice cut. Um, had a big picture of Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm, I didn't look like him when I came out, but I looked a lot better than I, when I went in, I can tell you. Uh, and um, dental work. Um, my brother actually uh, paid for his entire trip to Bangkok for several weeks uh, by having a lot of extensive uh, work done, uh, crowns, replaced bridges, and so on. Uh, so that's another suggestion, a way to travel and sort of uh, offset the costs a bit. Um, I won't recommend offsetting the cost by getting this cheap ticket that required me to stop so many times in China. Um, I saved several hundred dollars and I thought, boy, this is going to really be worth it. But uh, in the end, I wouldn't recommend it, uh, particularly as you get older. It's, it's, pretty, um, it, it's pretty difficult um, to do that kind of travel. So anyway, um, I have some other suggestions. Uh, which I think I'll maybe pick up on the next uh, video and uh, regarding things like car rentals and um, getting lower cost transportation from the airport. So, um, you know, you, cell phones and how you can um, buy Wi-Fi cards and so on and, and be able to, to have access to Wi-Fi in most countries. Uh, wherever, you know, where usually in urban areas in particular, they, they have very good coverage. Uh, having an adapter and so on. So uh, I'll, I'll have more to say about these things uh, next time, but I did want to thank those of you who looked at the video on the sock pull, how to put, put your socks on. And uh, I uh, really appreciate your comments. I've tried to take some of your suggestions into account with better lighting and so on. Probably keep it a bit shorter. So anyway, uh, I think that's enough for now. And uh, thank you and bon voyage.